I sing a song to you, O Lord, a song of love and praise. All glory be to you, O Lord, to everlasting days. I sing a song to you, O Lord, a song of love and praise. All glory be to you, O Lord, to everlasting days. Holy, 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 mighty Lord and God, He who was and is now, and who is to come. I sing a song to you, O Lord, a song of love and praise. All glory be to you, O Lord, to everlasting days. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friends in Christ, in today's world, people are busy with blame with others, judge others, are accusing others looking always some people as their enemies. This is what happening in day-to-day -day life. May it be the families, where we are working, where we are studying, the communities, church, parishes, we are always having the tendency to judge others or blame others to see somebody as, to look somebody as, as our enemies. Somebody, some people as our friends, we are making some groups. At last, we are making divisions among us, among the families, among the parishes, among the, uh, the, where we are working, among the communities. This is what the Saturn is cheating us in this way. And finally, we people are not ready to stand with others, start with our own family members. The husband is not ready to accept the wife as, as she is. What are the qualities she has? She is not ready to accept her and stand for her. The wife is not ready to stand for, his, for, for her husband. The parents are not ready to stand for their children. The children are not ready to stand for their parents in their old ages. This is what this evil is happening in this world and it is continuing today through the gospel, through the first reading. God is telling us to be good, to have the goodness in your heart, to have the love in your hearts towards your own people. As we read in John, John gospel chapter 13 verse 1 and 2, Jesus was having love towards his own people till the end of his life. Whomever God has given to Jesus, Jesus has loved without any expectation, without any barriers, without any limitations. He stood with the disciples so that the disciples could 
spread to could spread the good news with great courage with great love because what they have received they have given to this world as a gift yes my dear friends in christ today god is inviting us to stand with one another as our pope also clearly told in these days we have to bless one another yes my dear friends in christ today let us bless and if you have your own phone so you you type th- like this i bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit my dear friends my dear my uh, my dear uh, husband my dear s- daughter my dear son my dear friend whomever you know you bless everybody because this blessing has the has a great power as you are going to bless with the good heart all these people those who you, uh, to whom you are going to send these people will be blessed and they will be protected from every evils especially this corona virus so we people today let us learn from the lord to stand with others for the moments we were not standing with others we were not having the goodness towards others the compassion glow towards our own people our own family members we ask pardon and mercy in this holy eucharistic celebration i confess to so almighty god, god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words and what i have done and in what i have failed to do to my faults to my faults my most grievous faults Therefore, Therefore I ask blessed Mary our Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and lead us to eternal life. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ have mercy Christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray god by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. now i am to die yet i have done none of these things first reading a reading from the book of prophet daniel chapter 13 verses from 41 to 62 the assembly command condemned susanna to death then susanna cried out with a loud voice and said o eternal god would it concern what is secret who art awake all things before thy come to be who know that these men have borne false witness against me and now i am to die yet i have done none of these things that they have wickedly invented against me the lord heard her cry and as she was being laid away to be put to death god arose to the holy spirit of a young man named daniel and he cried out with a loud voice i am innocent of the blood of this woman and all the people turned to him and said what is this that you have said taking his stand in the midst of them he said are you such a fools you sons of israel you have condemned a daughter of israel without examination 
and without learning the fact return to the place of judgment for these men have borne false witness against her then all the people returned in haste and the elders said to him come sit among us and inform us for god has given you that right and daniel said to them separate them far from each other and i will examine them then they were separated from each other he summoned one of them and said to him you old relic of wicked days your sins have now come home which you have committed in the past pronouncing unjust judgment condemning the innocent and letting the guilty go free though the lord said do not put the death an innocent the righteous person now then if you really saw her tell me this under what tree did you see them being intimate with each other he answered under a mastic tree and daniel said very well you have lied again against your own head for the angel of the lord has received the sentence from god and will immediately cut you in two then he put him aside and commanded them to bring the other and he said to him you offsprings of canaan and not of juda beauty have deceived you and lust have perverted your heart this is of you both have dealing with the daughters of israel and they have intimated with your thought through fear but daughter of juda would not endure your wickedness now then tell me under what tree did you catch them being intimate with each other he answered under the oak tree and daniel said to him very well you have lied against your own head for the angel of god is waiting with his word to saw you in two that he may destroy you both then all the assembly shouted loudly and blessed god who saves those who hope in him and they rose against the two elders for out of their own mouths daniel had convicted them of bearing false witness and they did to them as they have wickedly planned to do to their neighbor acting in accordance with the law of moses they put them to death thus innocent blood was saved that day the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god the responsorial psalm your response shall be if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit your response if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there he guides me along the right path he is true to his name if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear your response if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there You are there with your crook and with your staff with these you give me comfort you have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes my head you have anointed with oil my cup is overflowing your response if i should walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life in the lord's own house shall i dwell forever and ever your response if i should, should walk in the valley of darkness, of darkness no evil would i fear for you are there. there let us raise for the gospel acclamation praise to christ eternal word of the living god praise to the o lord your words lord are spirit and life you have the words of eternal life 
Praise to Christ eternal, word of the living God. Praise to Thee, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. Then each of them went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning, he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down, sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and Pharisees brought a woman who had, who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman caught, was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now, what do you say? They said this to test against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to, him, said to them, Let anyone among you is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. At once, at once again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone, ended up, and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and, and from now on, do not sin again. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, through both the readings of today, the Lord teaches us whatever may be the cruelty of sin, whatever may be the cruelty of the injustice in the world, if we have faith in the Lord, the Lord will stand with us and in turn, having experienced the healing and forgiveness of God, He sends us into the world to give His Spirit of standing with one another, forgiveness, healing and justice and so on. We read in the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, St. Paul says, It's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. God has not thrown me out into the world to be alone in the world, to struggle in the world. No, my God himself accompanies me. And I live by the one who has loved me and gave his life for me. So, we need to experience the God who loves us and the God who stands with us that we may love the loveless in the world and stand with one another. That's what we read in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. God has faith in us. Can I have faith in me? And can I have faith in one another 
even when they have fallen. Faith means Hebrews 11, 6. God is alive. And God stands with those who trust in Him. Yes. Can we stand with one another even when they are wrong? That demands God's heart, God's goodness. And may God bless all of us with this heart and goodness. In today's first reading we find how Susanna was falsely accused and how the people who are filled with the lust, they wanted to possess her and have her physically and when she refused, they made her the victim. And we find as it's happening in the world, the power of sin in the world. This is the first thing we find, how lust can make even the rulers to make an innocent woman like Susanna a victim. Second, we find the power of injustice in the world. We read in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 where the Lord says, people will make, will turn good into bad, bad into good. They will say that which is bitter as sweet, that which is sweet as bitter. That is the power of the evil injustice. And those who are supposed to give justice, they give injustice. And the third we find the power of this world, the evil world, which stands with those who have wounded her, wounded Susanna, and even honoring those judges and allowing Susanna to be killed. But on the other hand, we find the God who stands with her, who saves her by raising up Daniel, though it is in the last moment. Sometime you may be going through, we all of us may be going through like Susanna, being condemned by everybody for no reason. Maybe our own parents have left, we are helpless. The husband has left her as helpless. And she is almost to be stoned. But the God whom she trusted never left her. God stood with her and raised up Daniel in his time, in his way. God will take care of those who trust in her. Trust in him. My dear friends, let's reflect the life of Susanna and let not get discouraged with the things that are happening around us. But learn to look at the Lord and ask the Lord to make us like Him that we too may stand with one another. We too may be used by the Holy Spirit to save the world, save one another. In the Gospel we find in St. John's Gospel chapter 8, the woman who was caught in adultery and she was pulled out and she is running for life because anyone who is caught in the adultery, according to the law of Moses, they can be stoned to death. And that's what they do. They think in their mind that they are doing the right thing. That by killing a sinner, they are doing the work of God. This is the great tragedy. Without learning to know the heart of God, merely doing the act of God. Many people don't understand if any situation comes, immediately they judge and immediately they condemn because they have no time to sit at the feet of the Lord who sits with us, who stands with us, 
who fights for us and they just allow the women to be killed they have stones in their hands because they didn't have heart god in their hearts they have stones in their hands because they didn't have god in their hearts and we find how did jesus respond to this woman and jesus who is the way the truth and the life he stands before us and tells us my son my daughter how did i save this kind of people i am the savior who has come to seek and save the lost that's what he said in luke 19:10 and today you and i looking at jesus we also see the same similar situation there are so many people who have even sinned and still staying with us in the community can i become another jesus for today's world or am i also going to join with the people condemning and going to crucify people how did jesus handle let's reflect number 1 we find jesus as standing with the woman the victim he stays with her usually a victim is being brought others may say what is that for me they may move away humko kya hai i am nothing to do with this woman he could have moved away because they are coming to kill her jesus knows very well he has no power to condemn to death it is the roman empire is to do and they are coming and asking jesus what shall we do with her jesus could have said i have no power you want to kill her go and ask the romans he could have escaped no jesus seeing the victim he is immanuel god is with us he stays with the sinners he stays with the victim he struggles with the victim this is what we find that jesus the immanuel who stays with her second we find jesus is the lamb of god he has come as the victim he offers himself to be a victim a lamb shedding the blood in order to save the sinners and that's we find here as they were telling jesus according to the law of moses we are supposed to stone such people and kill her now what do you say the lord jesus who stays with this disturbed and sinful woman he sits down bends down and takes her finger and writes on those rough ground those grounds are as we know the jubis ground i have gone there that land of israel full of small small rubble small small stones all dusty grounds and when jesus was writing definitely those little bubbles and thorns and all that thing in the road might have get into the heart the finger of jesus he might have experienced the pain i'm sure few drops of blood also would have come jesus the lamb he feels the pain of the victim who is going to be killed so he experiences he takes that pain upon himself and first he suffers they want to throw stone at her and her body is going to receive the heavy stones it will fall on her hands it will break it will fall on her head the head is going to be broken her brain is going to be scattered and her chest her back everywhere the heart is going to be broken out maybe it will come out and they will throw the stone 
until she disappears her she will be covered with a stone jesus feels for her and she becomes the vic- he becomes the victim for her sake and she feels the pain in her hand how can a person experience the pain in the flesh how she is going to experience pain in her body how she is going to die jesus took that pain upon himself and he is experiencing the lamb he is our savior he is the one el shadai el shadai means a person who has a heart of the mother at the same time a person who never gives up shadai even you can get in get all kinds of blows still standing with a rock shadai and jesus is el shadai standing with the victim suffering along with the victim and before the victim suffers jesus himself suffers third we find that they are going on asking her so jesus is not only suffers with those who suffer he also speaks for the victims he also fights for the victim he is yahweh nisie one who fights for us yes jesus looked at those people and say those who have not sinned among you you throw the first stone jesus speaks for the victim yes and when jesus spoke for her and fights for her they are going one after another and then she is left all alone now jesus earlier when she was brought before jesus he never looked at her because maybe her body is in that condition maybe her clothes are in that situation and they have caught hold of her hair pushed to her now she jesus looks at her with compassion jesus is el roi the one who sees us the one who sees our condition the one who sees the victim the power of sin in his children he saw her oh the power of sin has brought you to this level he saw the lamb who is going to be killed but now he is alone with her he looks at her with compassion he looks at her with great mercy yes fifth we find jesus not only looks at her he forgives her he heals her and gives her hope to live on in life he is the rafa he gives first of all the physical healing to her she he is telling her i am not going to punish you i am not going to punish you i don't condemn you he gives her the physical because they went on now i am going to take the rule upon myself and stone you no he gives her the physical healing second he gives her the mental healing now you are released they all have gone and between them and you i am there standing for you go in peace a mental deliverance and then the spiritual healing tells her don't sin any more live as a child of god yes jesus who stays with the victim immanuel jesus the lamb el shadai 
who suffers along with us almighty powerful god jesus nisie the one who fights for us and saves us jesus el roy the one who sees us jesus rafa the healer close your eyes today the lord is asking us jesus saves us also that we may know him by walking along with jesus how he handles and delivers and walks and frees people who are victims who are sinners who are in the boat to be killed today in your life in your family in your communities maybe they are sinners maybe they they how to be even killed according to the law but can you be an emmanuel can you be el shaddai can you be nisie can you be the rafa god is calling each one of us can you be become victim for though for the sake of those who are victims or what is that for me you can move away from the scene can i stand with those who have nobody can we speak and fight for god by standing with those who are in need of my voice can we look at the lord his pain constantly to see his mission for us he looked at peter and said peter do you love me take care of my sheep take care of my feed my lambs and follow me jesus is asking us can we continue to do his mission yes the wages of sin is death can we tell the world hello my dear open your hearts and see the power of sin in the world what the sin is doing to the world you and i need to proclaim to the world at the same time we need to be the savior standing with the savior giving jesus the savior that we don't condemn you we give you an opportunity god gives all of us an opportunity return to god we hear the voice of god telling us i don't condemn you go in peace sin no more i don't condemn you go in peace and sin no more i give you one more opportunity may the lord jesus continue to guide us and make us like him pray friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god the almighty father may god accept the sacrifice of your hands 
Grant we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of the bodily presence, penance, a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar, similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, the Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Tumabal our, our Bishop and all the clergy. Lord Heavenly Father, we submit all the people, those who are affected by this coronavirus, and those who are in hospitals, in the homes, Lord, I see you and I see, see you, Lord. Lord, you be with them. And you are the one can console them and give strength to them. Lord, you can understand their pain because you have, you have tested and you have went through everything what we are undergoing now and you have bore everything upon the upon your body on the cross as we read in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 because your wounds we are healed remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be quest to eternal life and and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let's pray with confidence to the father the words our savior gave us our father who art in heaven lord be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's greet one another peace of jesus lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant us peace to this broken sick sinful world here comes the lamb of god god immanuel who is with us god el shaddai with a mighty power he comes to save us god nisie who speaks for us who fights for us yahweh el roi the one who sees us sees the pain and the cruelty of sin in the world injustice in the world and who rises from heaven to be with us he is the yahweh rafa one who heals us happy are we who are called to take part in this meal of love lord i am not to worry that you shall not under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh, 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 my soul. I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh, my soul. I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Soul of my Savior, sanctify my breast, body of Christ be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me ye waters, gushing from his side. Strength and protection May his passion be Oh, blessed Jesus Hear and answer me Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee. God and defend me from the full in death dear moments make me only thine. Call me and bid me come to the on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Has no one condemned you, woman? No one, Lord. Neither shall I condemn you. From now on, sin no more. Let's pray. Strengthened by the blessings of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults. And by following Christ, hasten our steps Upward toward you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.